This is Gene Key, KDD News. Amarillo.com reports a bankruptcy filing by American Airlines' parent company, AMR Corporation, may reduce flights in Amarillo. According to an airport spokesman, about 24% of the Amarillo Airport's 409,000 passengers boarded American Eagle flights in 2010. The airport usually sees about five or six American Eagle round-trip flights to Dallas-Fort Worth every day. AEDC is the government agency who spent about $3.5 million in subsidy payments to keep American jet service in Amarillo over a four-year period in the 1990s. Local officials opted to let those subsidies lapse. Money for the subsidies came from a portion of local sales tax revenues. American has served Amarillo since 1981. Amarillo.com reports a line was down yesterday between Amarillo and Lubbock, causing Verizon wireless texting and phone services for the Panhandle region to be temporarily unavailable, according to Jason Markham, an agent for Verizon Wireless. He said Verizon does not know the number of customers that were affected, but reports of the outage began around 9 a.m. Wednesday. The outage extended as far south as the Midland-Odessa area. Service should be completely restored to all customers at this time. New study from Consumer Reports finds 10% of the juices they sampled had arsenic levels that exceeded the allowable limits for drinking water. There are no standards for arsenic or lead in juice and most foods. The advocacy arm of Consumer Reports wants to set limits for juices, especially since children drink a lot of it. The study found mostly inorganic arsenic, which has been linked to cancer. The Food and Drug Administration has said most arsenic in juices is organic and essentially harmless. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.